the chimney. This trailer is full of organic compost, which we got uh, for free from the municipality of the of Liceo, or the closest town, and it's really awesome. Loads of loads of good stuff in one place, all for free. And um, yeah, the problem is that my garden is not here, but in the lower level. So quite a lot of work seems to be uh, waiting for me, but I'm very excited. the merdas no actually it's um mucho de merda I had strawberries here now it's an empty patch I fill it with compost and hopefully next year I will have a lot of I think I'll plant some tomatoes here because um, there's a nice shade of the afternoon sun and it seems like tomatoes like it so inspect the tiger just making sure that I'm doing everything fine <laughs> during my slow life I really really find much more time to spend with my doggy tiger loves cuddles tiger loves kisses okay go hey hey So I'm sick at the moment, but Carlos here. We went climbing this morning. It was a bit too cold, so he just spent the rest of the day helping me with electrics because he's an electrician. Uh, and it's been amazingly useful because basically just understanding like where you place boxes, how things have to run together is quite a big deal. And if you get it wrong uh, when you do it, it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. And I'm aware of that because it's not that different. You know, in a way, it's like running cables for vans. If you're like, not thinking about it, you just like, get cooked. So anyway, thanks to this guy. Nah, He's making welcome. life a lot a easier. Pleasure. <laughs> So, uh, just had like three days of really bad sickness, uh, but back on it. And now I'm making a hole downstairs, uh, and this will be the chimney hole. However, because of the need to have it fairly close to the wall, um, I'm going to have to cut through a beam. I've already cut through the beam, um, and we have to make what's called a, a yol. Uh, the yol is basically going to support this beam, under that beam, and into the wall. Now, because this wood's all nicely sandblasted, I've basically cut enough length on this so it'll go over, under, and through. Um, the difficulty is not over though, because it's going to be a bit of a pain um, to cut the hole in the wall here. Uh, as you can see, the access is quite difficult because of the existing beam. And you'll notice that I propped up that beam downstairs because if we don't, uh, if that beam came down, it would be a nightmare. Anyway, got to cut a hole and then cut this to the shape uh, to support this beam, cut the beam to shape um, and get it in. Um, because now this hole is here, I can actually install the chimney because there's a bit on the chimney which slides, which means I can basically put the chimney in and then psh, the last piece, use the extending part to put it onto the actual burner. Because I thought originally I'm going to have to build everything ground up, which means plasterboard and walls, putting the tiles on the floor, then put the stove on. So this is a good thing, um, but still uh, quite a bit of work. Also in the last days, we've uh, been replacing the lintels on this window. They were super thin. You can see them there. 
uh, and a little bit too low for the, the modern window size. Uh, so basically it's been quite a job. The uh, same thing, you take out the whole front, put one beam in, take out the back, put the beam in. Uh, but it's basically, you know, structurally done. It just needs filling in with more Rapido. Love the Rapido. <laughs> so right now we're building out a frame which is going to have a load bearing roof on it. So in this room here, we took out everything obviously, um, but on this side, up to that beam, it's going to be one big bedroom which has got this big door window thing. And in this area here, uh, it's going to be another bedroom. However, I'd like to have it so we can use the room above this bedroom has like a mini loft, an extra area. So to do that, we need to make it load bearing. Um, now, the tricky thing about this is there's not really great places to patch it. So we've put a few masonry bolts in, but now what we're gonna do is basically we put a load of screws in and we just cement the mass in. Uh, and then we'll just work our way along doing that, just basically securing it up and by rapid cementing it using the screws to the wall. On the other side corner, um, we're attaching it to this old wall here, um, the existing wall, um, which I didn't really want to destroy. Um, and the same thing, we're gonna rapid cement it all together and we put all these screws in, which will basically hold it in place. And should be quite strong in the end. Once this frame is um, more well attached to the wall, attach it to the floor a bit as well, uh, and then we have all of these large beams which will go across. Um, I've not decided whether we have them box screwed on the face or just sitting on top. It might be a little bit cramped up there if we have it just sitting on top. So I need to think about it. So we basically put this frame in now. Uh, it's a bit of a, a faff to get it straight because the wall leans in at the bottom. So basically, to get the frame in level, frame in level I've had a bit of, a bit of an overhang, which I'll, I'll firm up with some wood later. Um, but now we've got the, the window door in. Um, at the bottom, because I want it to be a little bit raised to match this, um, I've just propped it up with tiles and then we'll put cement and stuff underneath. Um, and then when we're ready to, we'll take the tiles out and put more. Um, so that will be pretty fixed and really good. Um, and now we're doing the standard technique of basically rapid cement and some rocks with a bunch of screws which poke through to help firm it all in together. We can do it rough first and then we'll seal it up and make it look good later. So we've got the chimney fixed into place, nice and level. Uh, now it's time to cut a hole in the roof. So I basically put one of them up there already and I've cut the hole. It's quite hard to get out, so I'll probably have to just hit it with the drill a bunch. Uh, cut this hole in, then we'll put a centre hole all the way through the roof. We can use that to mark out and do the chimney fittings and fixings and just make sure we don't screw it up too much. So, but yeah, it's good. If we get the chimney done, we can finish the roof. So, just putting the chimney on, cut that hole through, all the way through on the other side. I put the bracket at the top, I think it's better, it's stronger wood there anyway. Um, and now I'm putting down this uh, and basically I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cut it at the point where there's a raised part and then I can have a raised edge inside and we have a clean line stopping exactly there and then this will go under and this will stay over so it's a bit of a faff to get it under but I just wanted to bring it down so I know that I'm getting it right. Um, this chimney's not quite high enough but I can just buy another section, pop it on top, boom. Done. So the chimney is on the roof. Uh, the flashing, uh, I'm not sure what the best way to do it really is whether you put the flashing on and then post the chimney through. That's tricky for the brackets. Or you do what I did and just like manhandle it up inside. Uh, I just with the hammer, just basically tap, 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 because you'd actually stretch the lead and like move it kind of and uh, basically more or less formed it to the shape here. Uh, and I think it'll do the job. Got little corners on the edge. The upturn's still there. So hopefully that's gonna be waterproof. 
obviously there's going to be tiles and cement and all sorts of stuff to go on here still but uh, yeah good start if I wanted to I could stick another meter on it see but I think a meter and a half is probably excessive looking at what's on other people's roofs I don't think we need a meter and a half pretty cool sunset so now uh, got the chimney in place and then where the fire's gonna be um, I'm working on building the half so the half is gonna be five centimeters of cement now this whole corner kind of slopes up and it's a bit junk so it's quite good to cover it up anyway um, but basically I've screwed this frame into the floor just temporarily and then I can cast it and anyway, I know it won't move with any of the, any of the um, cement in we're doing but yeah we've basically put this in and then it will have like tiles and things on top but the main thing is to get the base in cement it all up uh, and then you know I can start building the other parts of the half So basically just now pouring in the cement and flatten it out, easy job. Man. So this is Johannes, he's actually been here, been here a month, uh, but like basically he's just been working on Creator Ads, this new business we've been working on, uh, so it's all been go, 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 and basically we're super lazy with filming things, but now he's actually leaving, so this is probably the first time he's on camera. Uh, and yeah. leave it. So basically this is the thing, like, I don't know, with the vlogs, there's so much stuff we don't actually get around to filming. Yeah. But anyway, Johannes is going back to Germany now. We'll be uh, around. And he'll be back soon, probably. Um, cool. But yeah, you just want to make this business pump. Meanwhile, Ezra and Anna had decided that wintry building work wasn't for them, so they went to Sirana for a couple of days climbing. <laughs> I have nothing to say. It's just beautiful. This is what we wake up to. We're gonna climb right there. I'm well aware that we miss out a lot of stuff on these vlogs because there's seven days of pretty much non-stop action and only a 10 to 15 minute vlog at the end of it. Um, but if there's more stuff you really wanna know about or see more of from the business to the house, to the garden or the climbing, just let us know in the comments and see you next Sunday. Very easy. Damn it. I guess I put a little bit too much weight. And now I need to do the same thing twice. <laughs>